Phoebe and I went to an estate party. Missed the candy orgy. But did end up having a sixum makeout session in the elevator. Welcome to Swinger University, your horizontal enrichment program. Bringing you an educational podcast about swinging. Here are your hosts, Ed and Phoebe. So Saturday night, we had a uh, pre-cruise party. Yes, we had a pre-cruise party with sapphic swingers, average swingers, two hot wives, and 10 of their closest couple friends. Oh my God, those crazy girls. Yeah, they, they're wild. Um, we, we keep running into them on the November cruise because I think this is, this is their, their home base. Mm-hmm. And everybody on the cruise ship knows them. They can't go more than 20 feet before they get stopped oh, and, and interrupted. And it's, it's freaking hilarious. And they're, they're amazing people. So Right, which is why we wanted to go to their party because we really wanted some time to chat with them because they're so popular that you, you just can't not be. They can't be interrupted. A conversation is always interrupted on the cruise. Right. Exactly what you said. Right. So we go. We get to, actually we we get to the estate. The estate. Yeah, we took an Uber over there. And we were just oh, in shock. <laughs> <laughs> because this thing was this, this estate was huge. It, it, it it's just a house. Like it wasn't some mini mansion. It was a collection of like mid-century modern bungalows, all kind of linked together through walkways and lawn areas and a pool and a hot tub and a fire pit area. And there were ducks walking around. And it was ev- all of it. Insane. It was, it was amazing. And it's Gorgeous. an Airbnb. Yeah. So it, th- like you too could stay there. Um, we took did we? Did we take a photo? I did. Yeah, she took a photo. I'm like, ah. it, it's super cool. Anyway, so we hung out. We had some drinks. Um, actually, we didn't drink because we'd already been drinking the re- earlier part of the evening uh, at the bar where we were staying and with some friends who we also went out to dinner with. Sorry to interrupt, but I was I went ah oh, with the whole photo thing because you know as swingers we try to keep things private and. You know, a little bit on the down low. Uh, so I, I took the photo for my own personal use. Right. I won't be posting it anywhere. Yeah. Because there, I don't know the owners. I didn't rent the Airbnb, but I had to have a good memory. So I took a photo. Right. Right. So. Good disclaimer. Yes. Um, <laughs> photos at swingers events. Not usually good. No, don't be posting that. So the, the, the unfortunate thing is we came home and later through messages, we found out that things got crazier after we left. And there were a bunch of other podcasters who'd left earlier in the evening. We were all tired from traveling. Yeah. They were not. They'd been there since like Friday. And so they were just, this was just like the prelude to the cruise. <laughs> yeah. um, and they ended up having like a 10 woman candy orgy. Right. So you've seen the photos of the women laid out on the table with, you know, the mm-hmm. sushi laid on them. Well, this mm-hmm. was candy. Yeah. Because candy's sweeter. And it was late, so, you know, more of a dessert thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they said they had a great time. They said it was... They did. All the fun. They did. Sunday morning, we had an erotic photo session, which was super sexy and super hot right got some great photos yeah we were we were we were packing and, yes uh, one thing led to another <laughs> and we'll leave it at that for now sunday then later we board the ship and we get on we decorate our door if you haven't heard our previous podcasts everyone decorates the door most everyone does and so yeah. we had show them free magnets that we're giving away and we decorated oh my goodness we decorate <laughs> I decorated our door with those. Our Swinger University poster, pictures of our faces now. Yeah, because so we're out. You can you can see these. Yeah, which is cool. Yes. Uh, and what? Oh, they the the cruise gives you a whiteboard and a marker so that people can leave you messages. We already brought our own sticky notes and a pen, so we have all that on our door. We'll post a photo. 
Yeah. And if you're on the cruise and you're watching this, don't know if you have the internet package or not, swing by, pick up your magnet, write us a note on our door, uh, as nasty as you want to be, because uh, it's for us. And yeah, or and just say hi. Um, we, we love meeting you guys. And so if you see us on the ship, definitely come up and say hi. And no, I have not been drinking yet today. This is just my normal, natural... No, that's next. Uh, after we finish recording this, we're going to go start drinking. Classes. So if you're interested in any of the classes, read ahead of time. You'll get a bunch of emails and stuff before the cruise. The classes fill up quick. So as soon as you get on the boat, go to the help desk and sign up for the classes. Right. We were interested in two classes. One was Pleasuring the Pearl and one is Pleasuring the Penis. But there's also other classes like the Yanni Massage, Tantric, and a whole host of other ones. These are paid Tons. classes. Um, ranging anywhere from fifty dollars to one hundred and hundred, maybe one hundred and fifty. I'm not sure of all the prices, but right. well, the particular ones that we signed up were for were fifty dollars if you want to share a bed. Of course, because these classes frequently are hands on. Yeah, these two in particular that we wanted to do were were hands on demonstrations. So, pearls and penises in hands. Right, and if you don't want to share a bed, that's perfectly fine too. You just pay an extra fifty bucks for this class. It was hundred dollars for your own private bed, which right. is fine too, and because, that's nice. Because they have limited space, that's why they charge more for the other right. bed because you're getting a solo. Yeah. yeah, you're getting your private own private experience. So while we're standing in line, right? Because we are when you board a board uh, a cruise ship. There's a muster station. So this is in, in the case of an emergency. Our muster station was right next to the sign up. Mm -hmm. So we like walked 15 feet, hit the, the, the booth. And while we're in line, we met the Thoughts and Perspective podcasters, which Thoughts was super cool. and Perspective podcast. Yes. They were literally, I don't know, 20 minutes. They live 20 minutes away from us. Right. Yeah, so an, uh, another West Coast podcaster where we have tentative plans at some point to, to connect with them, have conversations, a drink. Hmm. Who Potentially knows? Potentially share a bed. For Potentially free. share a bed. We'll see. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So that was exciting. And what else? Oh, then we went to the martini bar. Right. Oh, my God. Martini bar. So good. Everyone was there. Well, not everyone, but it was very crowded. It was a very popular spot, yes. Mm -hmm. So many people came up to us because of the t-shirts that we're wearing. Da, 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 da. Swinger University t-shirts, yeah. Either they knew about the podcast or they hadn't heard about the podcast and had a bunch of questions. You ran into a couple that was here on their first cruise. Yeah, we've, we've been referring to them as the first cruise couple. Mm -hmm. And super cute couple, really nice. Uh, thanked us for our episodes. Thanked us for you know, all the helpful information that really kind of got them started and prepared them, which was exactly what we did it, do this whole thing for, right. is to, to help people get in, get through, succeed. And um, we've run into them a couple times since then, and the, just, just the nicest, nicest people. Yes, 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 yes. It was so nice to hear their story. We also met uh, a nurse who has a lot of experience in HRT, hormone replacement therapy. Yes. And he was a wealth of knowledge. I shared some experiences with him because I am also going through that. And he just validated all of the horrible <laughs> experiences that I had had. And I was like, oh my God, I can't wait to interview you. So we were hoping uh, that he and his wife will do an interview with us on our podcast because we have about three episodes that we're going to be doing and sharing with you guys on hormone replacement therapy, the value of it, and and, and how it can help and um, really assist um, with your overall just general health and sexual well-being, whether you're a swinger or not. Right. So super excited for that. Yeah. We also met another person in the medical field is as a doctor, Dr. Valerie, mm -hmm. and she's a sexologist. And she was, is, I think she gave it today, the, the Yanni class. And um, I haven't taken that class, but she was just uh, a pleasure to meet. And we're hoping to maybe do an interview with her also. 
Right. So we're basically sitting in the martini bar. People are coming up to us totally at random. You know, we're introducing ourselves, which is one of the first things that we teach um, when we talk to new swingers, and that is get over your shyness just go up and talk to people swingers are nice people they, mm-hmm. they actually want to meet new people like that's the whole game and they were doing it people were doing that coming up mm-hmm. to us and having conversations with us and we made so many potential interview connections and lifestyle connections mm-hmm. so it's great like things are just falling into place for a bunch of great content for you guys which is super cool mm-hmm. and totally serendipitous because we are literally writing out the outlines for the hrt episode so this was perfect time. freaking amazing yeah. i will say i think some people were approaching us because of the shirts because the logo is so big and the obvious but there were other people on the cruise that were wearing really interesting shirts that were conversation starters right so if you're a little bit shy or introvert Try wearing a shirt that inspires a contra, you know, conversation yeah. Yeah. or a comment, because uh, what was it? Sapphic Swingers had a shirt on that said, "We f shit up. We're here to f shit up." Right. That's so, their their kind of their mantra. Yeah. To, their philosophy <laughs> about were life. People laughing at their shirt and then making comments on it. And there, there's another guy wearing some other kind of cool shirt. Some random guy walking by, and it was a fabulous shirt. Yeah. Which is all the more reason to get an interesting shirt. Yeah. Um, the standard two pineapples having sex shirts or the upside down pineapple. Everybody has those shirts, and try to find something unique. Yeah. Find us. Try and find something yeah. unique. Yeah maybe a swinger university shirt <laughs> but there you go uh there you go. something to to kind of break the ice and get people to to start talking yeah. to you so then it was dinner time and a little bit of a nap s- a little bit of a nap rest yep. resting the feet because we we're going to be on our feet again right because i was on my feet all day already even though i was in sneakers my feet were tired we rallied we had some coffee we were back out at 11 and it was color night so it was basically birthstone color night. So dress in your color of birthstone. I didn't have a green dress, so I just decided to pull something out of my swinger closet, which was orange. Right. It's not a birthstone, but I didn't really care because I rocked the color orange. And, and I co-opted somebody else's birthstone because I didn't want to wear all white. So there you go. There you go. Everyone was dressed amazing. A lot of sparkly greens and diamonds and red. Oh, and a Ruby. few women with nothing but <gasps> like this pearl like bodice no. yes. just completely open just strings of pearls draped over her shoulders and over her what, what are these things in the front oh i don't know what those anyway are. something fantastic outfit we saw her a couple times later in the buffet and every time we saw her we were like my god oh. first the confidence to be able to strut around in thigh high boots, boots. and a just thong. pearls and pasties <laughs> girl work it it was it was amazing it was the ultimate pearl necklace yes yes so she rocked that that was pretty amazing and then uh what else what else was we were, uh, we were dancing yeah, um we went out 11, dancing yeah 11 to 1 30 yeah we dancing we we kind of bopped between two of the different clubs one of them was a little smaller it was a little harder to dance the other one was more open there was more seating there was a bigger bar it wasn't as dark and kind of mysterious, <laughs> mysterious. although it was pretty dark i mean that it was watched- a little du- it was a little creepy dark yeah the the bartenders were actually using their phone lights to be able to figure out drinks and stuff so that was pretty funny yeah um probably need to work on that for them and we also ran into bella and jace Mm -hmm. for in the uh, for our play podcast at the the ball we hadn't seen them all day they'd seen us but it's kind of a zoo when you come onto the ship the first four hours yes. and we we ran into them and because we both recently had a controversial episode happen <laughs> uh, with both of us we kind of commiserated compared mm-hmm. stories um right. car crash incidents anyway it it was it was comforting um and we felt a little bad about how 
controversial we thought ours was in comparison to what they went through and holy crap not a not even comparable in many respects and oh. yeah we're still processing all of that and we'll continue to process some of that and we'll we'll go from there yeah i mean at least we didn't have threats um right they had some threats and theirs theirs was um yeah we were Let's just, just say it was very. The pictures that they showed us were very telling. Yes. Shocking. Yeah. Not of people, but the place. There you go. And that's where we're going to leave that yes. because I don't need any more stress this week. Um, <laughs> right. We're on vacation. We're on vacation. Um, and and to to kind of round out the evening. Um, what what did we where did we end up well we're on our way back to the room this is what i love about the cruise you know <laughs> like it's just random happenings right people are just forced together so you're in an elevator some sexy people get on the elevator we're like hi how's your night oh our night's great oh ooh, what's your name love your dress love your dress oh like this oh no, da, da, da. compliments compliments little like huggy huggy kissy kissy all of a sudden four-way make oh sorry six-way make-out session in the elevator doors coming closing opening people are like oh hi can we join in or they're like oh excuse me we'll let you continue <laughs> so there you go some of the joys of steamy. the cruise yeah it was very hot and steamy and we'll uh We'll just leave it at that for now. Yeah. And do, we do this on all of our recap episodes. We kind of talk about the, what's coming up tonight. So tonight's theme, the mm -hmm. theme that shall not be named, mm -hmm. we, will ne we will never speak the name of this theme nope. um, because it's completely inappropriate and very just yeah. not even it's retro. Theme. It's backwards. It's a weird theme. And we've never liked it don't like it it's a terrible theme idea yep. so we will be dressing for that to a degree i mean we've got some sexy nightclub wear kind of stuff yep. and we'll give you our recap tomorrow we will talk a little bit more about the controversial theme and some of the things uh, that were involved with that and the the challenges of of being public being mm -hmm. public faces mm -hmm. having a public forum where we speak our thoughts and our opinions and kind of the risks that are involved with that and we're going to cover that in a patreon episode so if you're interested in that um and kind of the dirty details about that controversy mm -hmm. um tune in because it's it's fascinating and frustrating and all of that all of that all right thanks for watching thanks for watching